What is going on everyone? How you guys doing? Welcome to your 71st Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be adding some functionality to this list we just made on the screen. So let's go ahead and inside our constructor still. Let's go ahead down a couple lines and what we want to do is add a selection listener to this list. So what we want to do is put list dot add list well look at that it already has it for us add list selection listener and then go ahead delete this because we're not going to need it and we're going to make just like last tutorial if you saw another anonymous inner class so go ahead and in your first line of the parameters for add list selection listener what we want to do is make a new anonymous class and remember this is just an easier way of handling it handling it so put new list let me see list selection listener just like that it's going to take no parameters and we should say must implement yep must implement method value changed so this is pretty much says whatever class we made implements list selection listener it's just an easier way of bypassing it the thing is we need to make a method in here called value changed that's what it's telling us right now so in like order to fulfill our duties of implementing it so let's go ahead and make public void value changed in all this is pretty much what you need every time you make a J list so let's go ahead and for the parameters for this is list selection um, event and go ahead and type event and now we can go ahead and start doing the stuff that we want to do so pretty much aside from this all of this stuff is pretty much built in Java and you need this every time it's none of your own custom stuff so it's just an easier way of adding some event handlers to your um, program so now that we got all this housekeeping stuff done let's get into the good stuff what do we want to do when a user clicks one of the colors well what we do want to do in people language is select that color and change the background to that color so actually there's three different layers on our window the first there's a background there's a content pane and there's something called I think it's called a glass pane now the content pane is on top of the background so they have it set up really weird you need to actually access the background through the content pane in order to change the background so the first thing you need to do is get content pane like that and the second thing you need to do is finally we get to our background so let's go ahead and set background just like that and I spelled that wrong background that's a little bit better and there we go my error goes away and so what do we want to set the background to well in our parameters for here let me just end this statement in our parameters for here we want to set it to one of these colors from the color list color black color blue color red color right so the first thing we're going to need to do is add color and empty uh, square brackets and now what we want to appear in here is one of the numbers one through four so how can we get the numbers one through four depending on what they selected remember in our list was the array or excuse me was the array color names and our list was named list so let's go ahead and put list dot get selected index so it's automatically gonna know whenever we do not want to put that there let's see so it's automatically gonna know that in our list that we just created and why am I getting a line under color because it's actually colors there we go so when whenever it clicks our list and by it I mean we it's automatically going to know if we click the first second third or fourth item in our list it's going to get that number and it's going to say alright if you click the third item in our list I'm going to pass three in for here so colors three equals let's see colors zero actually one two three so it's going to be red so that is how it happens like that and remember to set the background you need to get the content pane and get set background I don't know why they did it this way instead of just you know set the background 
but they did it this way and don't forget there's actually three layers the content pane the background and I think it's called like a glass pane or something something weird so um, that's that for this tutorial and let's actually run this program and see if it works so as you see by default it's nothing because we didn't set it to default value now when you click black blue white red blue red black white in any order then that's pretty much just what happens so one more time let me walk you guys through that the first thing we did is import all our stuff make sure you have those it's key trust me and uh, let's see let's get to the important stuff we made a list which is a variable for your list we made the color names which is what we saw on the screen and we had to correspond to the colors so that Java can understand it using the special color dot black next we made a constructor with a title, a layout, yada yada yada. We made a list and we set it equal to JList color names, which were the options that the user can see. Set the visible row count, which was four options by default. Then we made a single selection, so you can only select one at a time. And we made a J scroll pane, which gave us a scroll window if necessary. Next, we added all this stuff, which is pretty much the default stuff you have to add in Java. And finally, we added this little line right here we went to the content pane so we could get to the background and then depending on what index they clicked we corresponded it to that list of colors that we made up here so one is black two is blue three is red four is white so that is how we did that and that is how we made an awesome um, little program and look at this how awesome is that seriously red white and blue didn't even notice it and black where's that come in but anyways Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next tutorial.